Hi guys, it's me Robert with a new video. Today I'll be showing you guys a $850 completely silent computer build. There's no moving parts in this build at all. Now I don't recommend this build since the performance per price ratio is pretty low to the, due to the high cost of some of the fanless components and the temperatures are just gonna suck. If you want a really silent PC I recommend buying a few silent fans which will make a great difference in the temperatures. There are a lot of fans on the market that are extremely silent but if you really insist on going completely silent here you go. So let's start this build off with the processor. Here we have the Core i3-3220 Ivory Bridge CPU in the beginning I wanted to go with the Phenom 2x4 processor which would have been perfect for this build. However, it consumed more than two times the power of this processor and is more than the fanless heatsink can handle. This processor should have plenty of power and run much cooler than most of the competitors in the price range. I use this processor in my own computer build. It is a great CPU for the price. You can check out the unboxing on my channel. Next is the graphics card. In this build, we'll be using an Asus Radeon 7750 graphics card. It is the most powerful fanless graphics card you can get. It should be great for gaming on high 1080p settings. It is also a PCIe free card, so it will boost the performance even more. Then we have the heatsink. It's the Silverstone HE02. It supports CPUs with power consumption under 95 watts. Our Core i3 consumes only 55 watts, so it should be great. Next up is the RAM. Here we have two DIMMs with the total capacity of 8 GB. I could have went with different RAM, which had heat sinks. However, I wanted to make sure this would fit, especially with the huge CPU heatsink on top. This is probably other this is probably other RAM that is low enough to fit but it is better to be safe than sorry. Now let's take a look at the motherboard. Here we have the Gigabyte B75 motherboard. This is basically one of the cheapest motherboards that have USB free, SATA free and PCIe free. In this case PCIe free will come in handy because the 7750 supports PCIe free. I actually have this exact motherboard in my system. It works perfectly and I am very satisfied with it. If you can check out my system and the unboxing of this motherboard on my channel. Now let's take a look at the storage. In this build we'll be using a Corsair GS SSD. The capacity is 240 gigabytes, which might be not enough for most people. For me it will be fine since I'm currently using 180 gigabytes. However, getting a bigger SSD would be a good upgrade. And of course this is a very fast SSD, so the performance will be great. Let's look at the next component, the power supply. This is the part where people might get confused. Why do they go with a $135 power supply, you would ask? Well, that's because fanless power supplies are friggin' expensive. No, really, look at this. The cheapest fanless power supply, except for that one, is $109. That's crazy. But, however, this is a very good power supply. It is platinum certified and is modular. Now, last but not least, we have the case. It is the NZXT Source 210. Personally, my favorite good looking and expensive case. This case does come with a fan, but you can just remove it or never plug it in. So, there you go, guys. This is my $820 fanless computer build. <clears throat> Thank you for watching and have a nice day.